Meet John Brummett and Mark Horowitz, two artists whose notions of creative inspiration challenge what some might consider to be the outer limits of art. Their medium is performance, and for five weeks this summer, they lived their lives in character as fictitious business owners, Kyle Sliv and Burt Dullett. Sliv and Dullett set up their offices in San Francisco's New Langton Arts Gallery and staffed the company with a group of artists who arrive at work every day ready to have fun with the cliches of corporate life. This is our, our newly hired secretary. Our last one actually quit. She was a scab secretary. The work that we present has to do with um, experience and having to be there uh, witnessing and um, and actually participating in the art product itself as a witness. This is wonderful. Oh, we have another fax coming in. That's great. I think I'll put on some cologne. The interaction that's happening between Mark and John and the um, other artists in the space is performed live in front of the visitors while they're here. I got this perfect business plan just for everybody of you. And Slim and Dullet are connected to a much sort of younger perspective on performance art, which has to do with creating sort of a total fiction, um, a total persona, maybe a whole package around, so that they're in, everything they do then becomes included into the performance. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and read some uh, company minutes from last meeting to you all. I know you missed the meeting. Number one on the list here is eyeballs to brand 24, 365 paradigms. While we take that action off item and raise a red flag, while facilitating one-to-one -one action relationships and transforming back-end relationships to happy customer relationships. Okay? Yeah, Great. Great. Thank you. They're riding a line between making fun of it and celebrating it. And um, I think that's it's a good thing in this era, you know, for people that, you know, we're bombarded by corporate information 24-7. So it's kind of interesting to have some corporate information that you're not even sure what it means and that sort of slim and dull are sort of supplying um, a comment and a corporation at the same time. Sliv and Dullet encourage staff to run with their best entrepreneurial instincts. In developing ideas that enrich the overall corporate experience for office visitors. Ian Treasure has perfected the art of the inner office transfer, taking apart and moving his cubicle at the repeated request of higher ups. It's uh, uh, four hours. We need to have you across the room in four hours, if that's okay. The big man's coming through. That could be tricky, but you know, well, you know me. I'll always do my best. That's great. Thank you. You know, they keep on asking me to move, and um, it's obviously for, for a good cause. You know, to better further my career, maybe, or you know, to make more money for the company. But I'll get it done. I'll be moved and ready to go and packed up and in a few hours and, and reassemble my position again, and um, and away I go. I trust that they know, you know, they know what they're best. doing. Yeah, that's what we think. So. It's just our job to do it, you know, let it, it happen, facilitate the move. To increase company sales, Joe Rison has developed a video infomercial for Sliv and Dullet Enterprises. Since I picked up the program, immediately I started seeing results. In just two weeks, I've created over 300 pieces of art. Other artists have developed new lines of consumer products and services. Eddie Sykes is turning old bowling balls into new gift ideas. My friends and I were thinking about uh, ways to uh, create products that are accessible and uh, have really, really low research and development costs. I'm thinking we can mass produce these. It takes roughly 80 to 100 hours to make one. The profit margin's huge. I think it's going to be a big hit. I this is too. basically the sales presentation mock-up for uh, that we've developed here in the office to pitch to the Golden Gate National Park Association uh, to encourage you know visitors to return more often so that they come back because a lot of times right. you know people show up they want to see the Golden Gate Bridge it's too much fog too what are much you going to do so what we've done is installed a fan down here. 75 foot in diameter with some tin foil on the bottom, a very large piece. We're going to contract out code for that. We've learned that we have a very unique product and service. Yeah, what we offer is very unlike the uh, ice making company or the electrical service up the street. Or Love's Pizza that went out of business while we were here. Yeah, the welding supply store across the street, Took definitely not competition. No. So we feel that in a seven block radius at least, we've got a, we've got a corner on our market. Oh, my God. 
Sliv and Dalit want to grow the customer base required for any successful company. So this morning, they are launching the corporate brand for commuters arriving in downtown San Francisco. Well, we're about to go down to Montgomery Station and everybody getting off the BART. We're going to greet everyone. Just kind of branch out, diversify, reach out to some new markets. This is an idea, and this is kind of, you know, just to kind of get a feel for the market, let the market feel us. Everything's fine, so. <laughs> it's nothing that hasn't happened before. Prepared for these kind of things. Nothing that a couple paper towels won't fix when we get back. Great. All right. Good morning. Looking good. good morning. How are you, man? All right. <laughs> Hey! Hey there! It's a successful outreach program, I think, already. So far. We haven't even so made it down there. That urge to sort of connect with the public outside of the art world, I think, is, is a lot of a quest for, for something that's more spontaneous. And you get a real raw, unmediated interaction from sort of moving things out into the public sphere. Because people don't necessarily know if it's art or not. They don't even know what it is. Hello there. Good morning. Want some free coffee? Free coffee. Ben? What? What's going to be made by? You, you don't have any company name on we it. Know, no, 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 no. Check it out. Enterprises. Slivendal Enterprises. And I got a pen here for you with our company name on it. With our website. You can come visit us. Let me just take a cup. All right. Good morning. It's free coffee? It's a very nice shirt, by the way. Free pen? Free coffee, ma'am? Sir? Ma'am? Sir? <laughs> I'm Sliv. He's Dullet. Yes, ma'am. We're a creative services company. We make problems for your solutions. Thank you. There you are, sir. All right. We'll Come visit us at the office before coffee, Saturday. We have to move again. All right. Ma'am? You doing all right? <laughs> at the end of five weeks, their short-term tenancy at New Langton Arts has expired. So Sliv and Dulles have come to the San Francisco dump to scout for a new office space. It's where they first met, and a place where they have always found ample inspiration as well as raw materials for their art. You know, this is a good Dick Van Dyke. Oh, here's the 81 to 83 Chrysler continuous yeah. flow system chart. Yes, these are important. I things. mean, this could easily turn into a model for the company. Like here's, like say here's, uh, you know, here's our marketing department. Here's yeah. our advertising department. We are going to have to give up our offices over there on Folsom Street. We've got a head start on things over here, I think. This is no longer a satellite office as it was. Uh, it is now our central offices. Now we have an open door policy, as you see here, and we have anybody and everybody can come in and we're set up, you know, and so. You know, I think a lot of people say that destination locations are, you know, only for like much more established businesses, and I kind of feel like that's where we are now. Having come from art school and Dullet having come from business school, we kind of did the double whiplash roll around technique where we overlap, we braid ourselves into this rope. Using that rope, we're climbing to the future. Dad? Huh?